All right, last week I put up a video of trying to look inside the Palomar Engineering's Balan 4 to 1, 1 to 1 choke that I bought. It had foam in it to keep everything nice and tidy, I guess, so you couldn't really see the innards of that Balan very well, but you could see enough to see that it was still a quality build. And I told you the following week, I will show you the inside of the Jetstream 4 to 1 Balan rated for 1500 watts. I want you to uh, pay attention to this circular outline here you see the shape looks like a an f240 or something would probably go inside that right and then we're gonna have to talk about the so239 connector that was the most concerning part of the balance to me the other part i've just never seen before Jetstream, i'm sorry up front this isn't a very positive review on your four to one balance but it's not my fault it's yours and you got to do better your other products, I've used some. Okay. So, I mean, this happens. You, you hit some, you miss some. Check it out. Look at these six screws out of the edge of the chassis. And then we'll take the four screws out of the chassis mount of the SO239. And one of them was different than the others. It was a self-tapping screw, which had a nut on the other side of it. I didn't know what was going on there. And here it is. It just kind of fell out the, the whole connector. And there's, there's nothing connected to the center pin. What in the world? Uh, I was kind of confused at this point because I was expecting a wire or something to come out of there. something rattling around and there's the nut that was on the other side I, i'm still kind of confused so let's tear this thing open what is going on inside this jet stream ballon silicone gasket and where's the where's the round toroid at so this is something i've never personally seen but it's not too uncommon this is a four to one toroid rod I actually had to look it up on Google and, uh, and find some more examples of these. A lot of one-to-one -one examples using toroid rods. But it took me completely off by surprise because of the round intention or shape in the case. I was totally expecting to see a round toroid inside of this thing. But no, it was, I guess, just to fit the round sticker, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to give you some different angles and close-ups here. So you see right there is where the nut came off was where the uh, chassis mount was being held on to for the, for the grounding. So here it is completely taken out of the case so that we can really look all the way around this thing. It's some of you may be interested on what kind of winding this is and how it's done. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, I was just surprised and confused at the same time. All right, well, we looked inside the Jetstream Balan. That's it. Pretty interesting to me. I was not expecting to find that inside. You know, I just, I've never seen a toroid rod before. And now we have. Well, until next time, I think you'll enjoy the video right over here. 73.